So uh, let's start looking at uh, one of the projects that has come out of uh, this hack night. It's an interesting visualization project about uh, drugs and <laughs> deaths caused by those drugs. I mean, a lot of other aspects also, but de death is definitely one common theme. So we'll just look at the, talk to the team about it. Uh, so hi guys, can you just run through uh, what you've done? Okay, so firstly, uh, the data set is provided by uh, US FD authorities. Okay. So uh, the data set is basically divided into some parts. So they provide it on quarterly basis and they've been providing for like almost, uh, say for two years. So what we did was we sampled the data for say quarter by quarter basis and we took it for quarter one, 2012. So the data is basically divided into demographics, uh, the outcome of uh, drugs, how many people died, and then uh, uh, whether they were hospitalized or uh, it caused any uh, uh, disability and things like that. So, so what we tried to do was we tried to uh, correlate the demographic data with the data that we had from outcomes and events and things like that. So we basically uh, took a sample data and uh, it was pretty huge but still we managed to import it into a SQLite database. So here is uh, a bit of visualization of what sure. I think. Yeah. So uh, if you actually see if you actually see, this uh, graph would represent the number of cases uh, which were reported to FD and these are the cases which, uh, uh, say, say you take a, a, a drug and it has an, ad an adverse effect on you, so, th so it's only those cases. G United States is reporting maximum which is about 162,000 and then if you see world over there is no reporting and then say every country is reporting below 30,000 so there's a stark difference between the reporting of United States and the rest of the world. If we come down, this visualization actually shows, this visualization actually shows the number of deaths which has happened in various age groups. So if you see from 2 to 70. The, there is a linear rise in deaths and then it falls off. This is an interesting one. Uh, so these are the various drugs which is causing maximum death in the world, which has an adverse if effect and it's causing maximum death. Aspirin, which is very common in India, is causing one of, I mean, is one of the you know, high causes, I mean, high, high risk medicines in the world. Actually, there are some very interesting uh, things, like for one uh, particular age group, we found that uh, girls between the age uh, 20 to 30, about weight 40, were drying out of uh, drinking overdose of Benadryl, which is a cough syrup. Okay. And uh, that was ha actually happening across geographies. So there are some, uh, there's pretty neat data. So. One of the things that we uh, actually were trying to see if people were actually dying if they were taking uh, a combination of drugs. Like for example, in the next uh, visualization that we'll show you, we'll uh, you know, go to the next visualization. So the many people who report deaths out of taking vitamin A, vitamin B, vitamin C. So it's likely that they would have also been uh, taking something else as well. So this visualization will actually show you uh, the drugs that they've actually caused death in case of a headache. Hmm. So, uh, so I think we'll again, aspirin is one of the leading leading uh, causes of death. Yes. So uh, we were curious to understand whether you know uh, whether one uh, gender death is more skewed to the other one. And we found that you know male and female both are dying almost by equal proportion due to the effects of drug. Okay. So uh, uh, the question I would ask you is: So what sort of uh, tools do you end up using in in, your, in in this project? What what, what do you do? Many range of tools. So for visualization, we've considered using uh, R, GNU plot. So this one that we are using is actually from IBM. Okay. It's called as Many Eyes. So the idea is, uh, they've done a lot of work on visualizing data and they've built tools which can actually help you uh, represent data in really good ways. 
factual munging data we uh, used very heavy SQL. Lot of nested queries, joins, group buys, and uh, we, we we actually tried using a lot of heavy databases. But then we uh, after like say two to three hours of we did a lot of analysis on that also. Right? We tried using MySQL and stuff like that. Then we uh, so basically. Uh, to mine the data, we used SQLite, so we imported the data to SQLite in, and mined data from it. And for uh, for visual, I mean for visualization, we have used uh, m many eyes by IBM. Okay. So those are and obviously we did evaluate a, a lot of tools, as you already said. We oh, evaluated yeah. R and others. Yeah. Okay. Great. Thank you. Thank you. So you're gonna show us uh, what you've done. Oh yeah, God, like God. I tried to visualize the marks of 10th and 12th students in okay. Bangalore. So it's like almost like I tried to visualize like 1 lakh students data. I mean the result whether they have passed or failed. If you can see this, each of the circle represents a school and red represents uh, students who have failed and white represents students who have passed. So the larger the circle, the more number of students. The position of each school has been chosen randomly. And um, like I, I would like to uh, give an artistic perspective, like the colors that I've chosen, like white and red, I visualized it like an egg, which has a potential, and pass or fail are just labels and they got nothing to do with their talent or like their ability to excel. So it's like one lakh students and like more than 100 schools, so it's going to take quite some time to finish the stuff. Okay. So what's the uh, pink color? No, it's like I ha added an opacity um, for the both red and white. So like say for example, the white is bigger than the red. Okay. It generally kind of uh, whatever hides of the red. So I didn't want that to happen. Okay. So, so like whenever there is a red thing greater than white, it means like there are more number of failures than okay, okay. for our past students. Okay. So this data set is for like all schools in Bangalore, north and south of Bangalore. Okay. So that's... Yeah, uh, that's it. And cool. I used the uh, processing to visualize the data and I got all of the data sorted school-wise in a CSV. Okay. Cool. Thanks. Cool.